What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Technotips ASP.NET MVC tutorial. So this is part 59 of this video series and part 6 for repository pattern. Here I am going to demonstrate about how to display records using repository pattern. Alright. So far in the previous tutorials we have just discussed about how to create these layers like business layer, domain layer, data access layer and in the data access layer we also discussed about how to add entity framework and how to set up the generic repository all right so in this tutorial we will be knowing about how to use these generic repository methods to perform the crude operation especially how to retrieve record all right so let's get it started so here you can see in repository la layer we have set up our generic repository see we have ibase repository these uh, we can see these methods and then we have unit of work where we define the database context and then we we have this concrete class which is implementing the ibase repository and it also has some extra methods that we define here and then we have unit of work where we created the instance of database all right okay so now let us understand how can we use this generic repository method to perform the crude operation all right so for this you need to create your own repository against each entity you can extend this edmx file and then your entity entities.dt file and here you can see all your entities classes all right so let's suppose you want to access the employee record all right so for this we will create our own repository so you can call it as non-generic repository in other terms all right so right click here and add a class and then employee repo suite tree all right and then add all right so in your employee repository class this is our non-generic repository all right so this employee repository going to extend our base repository all right so here you can see base repository so that it can have all all those methods that are defined inside this base repository all method we can access all right and this will require a class all right so this is employee repository so we will pass the employee class and this employee class is present here okay now inside that since this base repository requires the unit of work as in into its constructor all right so we need to pass the unit of work let's say i unit of work unit of work into base repository constructor so base in this way you can pass so unit of work all right so this is your constructor and make it public now save it now open your business layer and then here we have employee business class there we were creating the instance of this now no more we will be creating this one and on the top first create a private read only 
and your unit of work I unit of work resolve it okay and the unit of work so you have defined this and now we will be defining our repository so if I want to use the employee repository then I need to create the instance of that so employee repository all right EMP repository all right and then we will create a constructor into this business just copy that and here we can pass this I unit of work and it will be requiring I unit of work let's say uh, underscore this all right and then unit of work equal to underscore unit of work all right and then we will create the instance we will assign this instance employee repository all right so this employee repository going to require the unit of work right so we will pass this unit of work here okay so this this setup you need to do in future if you want to access the department data then you need to create another class like in the same way for example say add class let's say department uh, department repository all right so this is your class and same way you can pass just copy that this is your department all right copy so this is your base repository and here we're going to use department department all right and right click here resolve it using the base repository a unit of work all right and then remove it so your department repository is also ready okay so for each entity you are going to create a repository all right and also you know that th th this is inheriting the all the methods that are present into the base repository okay now first move to the business layer and let's extend this employee and similarly you can create an instance of the department if you want to access that so department so department repository and if you want to create the instance of that in the same way you can equal to new department repository oh sorry depth rename copy that and then equals to new department repository and it also require the unit of work all right so we are just passing the instance of unit of work into our department repository right let's right click here and go to definition and the instance of unit of work we have passed into the base repository with the class with the class and here you can see go to definition so we have just received the instance of unit wo of work and also we retrieve the class which is uh, type D all right 
now again go to the business layer and then here you can delete this method or uh, now delete this context and here is your employee repository so instead of TV context you will use employee repository and here you can see dot all methods get all methods and then you have exist method then you can see delete method count method all method you can see here single or default single or default order by update update all all right so you can perform all these operation on this employee repository which is nothing but your uh, performing on the employee employee class all right so it is just get all all right and then this get all function is going to return the i enumerable okay so i enumerable function it will return and then you can select anything let's select with the same way like what we do let's say employee domain model then we can sign name then department name and then the address all right so first we put a breakpoint here and we will see into our controller so go to your controller here and there we, here you can see we were calling the employee business uh, just make it remove the underscore All right and here in this way okay so we were calling the employee get employee record now before that because we have passed the you know uh, see we have passed the interface into the parameter of this constructor first of all make it public public all right so this is accessible and for this we need to let's first run this and let's check out what error are we getting here okay so first we go to app start and unity.config so open up this file and let's run it we need to map our interface with the uh, with our class name all right let's check out so here we got this error that is infrastructure i unit of work is an interface that cannot be constructed so for that in previous tutorial we discussed about the dependency injection so so dependency injection can resolve it so first of all just copy both and instead of that we will be using i unit of work all right let's copy that so i unit of work will be resolved at this unit of work all right so first of all just go to reference because unit of work is defined into the repository layer so you need to add the reference of repository layer yeah so already added so just right click here and resolve it okay and this time you can check out all right so here we go at the breakpoint we save function f10 all right 
so you if you want to see this method go to definition here is your repository method let's put a big point here continue and it will return the DB set dot as enumerable okay now F10 so here you can see yeah list 16 records are there okay now return the list to the controller and we are still loading meanwhile you can just see the view this is the repo controller and then the index in previous tutorial in previous to previous tutorial we created this view all right so here you can see all the record coming from the database all right so in this way you can call your repository generic repository methods okay so i think uh, this is enough for today and i hope you like this video if you want to get this project i'll just put it on my uh, gmail share drive you can download this and uh, first of all let me complete all the crude operation okay then i'll just put all the all com this complete project on the drive from where you can download it all right so so now you can for the immediate help you can visit my blog here and you can copy all the code as as per the instruction given here all right so here this is a part 58 and there is a business layer if you click on this oh sorry my internet is not working you can you can visit uh, that you can see how to add business layer how to add domain layer and then this is your data access layer code okay so we will see more in the next tutorial so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and if you like this video then give a thumbs up and uh, do share this video among your friend and have a great day